-hmm. ladies are difficult to find in genealogy research. But they don't have to be if you know what to look for, particularly in newspapers. Howdy, I'm Devin Noel Lee with Family History Fanatics, and I love helping you find your family history and having fun along the way. Be sure you always look in the description because we have lots of good resources and nuggets that you're going to want to take advantage of. Now, while gender doesn't prevent ladies from appearing in headline news, there are some customs and cultural practices that make them a little more challenging to find if they aren't infamous or famous. So let me share with you some of the best sections to search for your ancestors in the news. Now, one story that will always mention the lady in your family is if they have their bridal or wedding news appear in the press. So some of the types of articles you'll find are marriage license uh, announcements, marriage bans, engagement announcements, bridal showers, ceremony recaps, or the bridal photos like you see here. For more tips on how to find your bridal events in the news, make sure you find the link in the description or in the pop-up to go look for keyword combinations to find your ancestors in those bridal articles, no matter where they appear around the world. The other thing you can try out is the combination of using Ancestry's Newspaper Marriage Index in conjunction with newspapers.com. So you can search the marriage index over on Ancestry if you have an applicable subscription, and then you can open up the actual article on newspapers.com if you have a subscription for that as well. So be sure to check out the news, but the strategies that I share with you in this uh, video will apply on newspapers.com, it will apply on Chronicling America, Newspapers Archives, the California Digital Historical Newspapers Collection, and so, so, so much more. So give those keyword combinations to try and find those marriage news. Now, if you do find a really great story, please drop a link in the comment section. I want to read the news of your ancestors getting hitched. Another section to find the ladies will be in obituaries. Now, they won't always have an obituary for themselves, but if you will not only search for the females, but also their husbands, their brothers, their uncles, their grandpas, their fathers, every male ancestor, and every female answer, sisters, aunts, um, cousins, mothers, grandmothers, you may find the ladies that you're looking for. Now, when you are doing a obituary search, you also want to use the keyword combinations that I mentioned in the previous video that I recommended to you, but also there is an obituary search that Ancestry has. There are actually several collections of obituary searches that you can find online to help you dive into the obituaries in the time and place that you're researching. So go look for in obituary indexes and go find your ladies. Now here's one you might not have thought of searching for in the newspapers. I often find that court records are a little bit more tricky to access, but one gateway to finding uh, court records is to search for court record proceedings and recaps that are covered in the newspapers. And a lot of ladies will appear in orphan court announcements, either filings, land sales, um, changing of guardianships, coming of age. But if you will look for orphan court proceeding announcements in newspapers, you just might find your female ancestor. And sometimes the guardian will say, Martha Welt, who is, uh, has a guardian, of Frank Welch, her uncle, because her father, Thomas Welch, had passed away. And I'm just making all of that up. But you get the idea that there will be these announcements that can tell you a lot of relationships. And I don't know if you thought of thinking about it, because honestly, I stumbled into this. Nobody else had talked about orphan court records. So when I find something new, I'd like to bring it to you. 
All right, this one isn't news, but society news. Ladies appear quite frequently in society news. They're coming, they're going, they're visiting, they're getting sick, they're getting better, they're having a baby, they're having a party, they attended a party. Social, 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 social. And we have covered that topic here on Family History Fanatics. So again, check out the description for more training on the society news. But did you know that newspapers like to cover school news? This school news could be the hiring of teachers, the retirement of teachers, the awards a woman or a young lady earned while being a teacher or a student in a local um, school district. I have seen photos of Geraldine Rang, somebody I researched quite a bit. Uh, she appeared in a photograph of when she started nursing school and when she ended nursing school and when she got a pay raise because now she's not in school anymore, but she actually got a pay. Well, really, she was a teacher at this hospital for she was a you know, a nursing teacher for a while. So that was connected as well. But there's lots of great things. I've seen um, women giving speeches at a, an assembly or they are graduating or they have join a sorority. There's a lot of school news and the ladies show up in those articles. So those are five sections that I can guarantee your ladies will show up in. Um, there's a lot of other sections. So if you know of some sections that definitely identify your ladies, be sure to drop your ideas in the comment section and I might do a follow-up video, but most importantly, we're all going to learn from those sections that you suggest. If you made it this far into this video, that means that you're enjoying our content. Now there's many ways that you can continue to help us bring you the latest and greatest content and that includes checking out our blog, becoming a channel member, hitting the subscribe button, hitting the like button, leaving a comment, sharing this video with your friends, and more. All of these little contributions helped us continue to make great content to help you enjoy your genealogy journey. How do the ladies' names appear in newspapers? Well, just as you would expect in other genealogical researches, the ladies have some problems. Well, everybody has the same problem. Their name can be misspelled. Even a name like, it's, it's a male name, but Festus can show up as Vestus. Like, how does that happen? Somebody used the wrong key. Well, the same thing is gonna happen with the ladies. Um, in the blog post that I have linked in the description, the show notes, I share with you uh, Mary May Titus. Mary May is actually one word, and you're gonna have to go over to the blog post to see the different variations of how that name has appeared in print. <laughs> The next thing is females names, actually just like male names, are incomplete. <laughs> so what do I mean by incomplete? Well, sometimes their names are just going to be a maiden name only, a maiden surname only. Um, they may have like Miss, or maybe there's a list of six ladies and the first person gets the name Miss, which is actually a plural form of Mrs. And then they'll have surname, 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 surname. And the same thing's going to happen with their uh, married surname. Sometimes it'll have Mrs. and then it'll have all the ladies surname, 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 surname with just the Mrs. So that happens a lot with males as well. So recognize it's a problem for just everything. Newspapers didn't have a lot of column inches to devote for everybody's name. So sometimes it wasn't that they were trying to be mean and malicious or, well, whatever. Um, they really didn't have a lot of column inches to devote to a full name, so they used different hacks to get the information in in the shortest amount of space. So their names are going to be incomplete in that way. For some other ideas of how the name might be incomplete, I, they're in the show notes. The next problem with uh, how your ancestors' names are going to appear in the papers is particularly when you're using a digital image database that has a searching capability is that those images can be poorly scanned. The OCR can't read it because different letters look the same. Um, sometimes there's extra blotches and splotches and things that happen in the printing press that change the way a letter looks. Sometimes the letters get shrunk and are expanded and they just don't look like they should. And so when you have an optical character uh, recognition going through and scanning, 
it is scanning and it doesn't really understand what happened. So if you want to look for some workarounds for how to um, find your females, then make sure you read this blog post. It is one of my popular blog posts about newspapers. In fact, some political activists went and they were told me that they are like, oh, this is such a great post. This is actually what I was looking for to find out some dirt on some um, politicians. <laughs> Like, okay, you're welcome. So if it's going to work for um, mo modern candidates, it definitely can use work for our ancestors. Another thing you can do to learn how to find your ladies is to check out this uh, seminar that I have over on the um, Family History Fanatics Extra channel membership here on YouTube. There's a whole training on getting into newspapers and knowing the basics of finding people. And you use all of those strategies to find your ladies. But the best tip I have for you is to be patient and just dig and dig and dig. A lot of times I have stumbled into records about my ladies because I did a surname search. Just a surname search um, and I would find articles about the ladies in my family tree as well as the men in my family tree. And I'll not only search the surnames of the people the direct ancestors, but all of the people in their fan club. And it takes a lot of time, but it is so much easier with the uh, digitized newspapers that go to and do a lot of the searching for you. Be open, get creative, and if you have more tips, make sure you drop them in the comments below. Now, a lot of the videos that I referenced are not only linked in the description box below, but they're on this playlist right up here, so check that out. And if you're ready for some the latest video from Family History Fanatics, check out the video right down there. Do you have an educator in your, um, uh, uh, oh, uh, do you have an educator in your family tree?